Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you, everybody. Good to be back home. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please, everybody have a seat. Have a seat. Congressman Schock, where is he? He's back here. He's right here. Stand up, Aaron. This is uh, Aaron's still trying to make up his mind about uh, our recovery package. So, you know, he has a chance to be in the mold of Bob Michael and Ray LaHood. And, and so we're, we know that you, all of you are going to talk to him after our event, because uh, he's a very talented young man. I've got great confidence in him to do the right thing for the people of Peoria. Uh, you notice I've been traveling a little bit. I had to come to Peoria. You, had, you have to see how things are playing in Peoria. So what's happening at this company tells us a larger story about what's happening with our nation's economy. Because in many ways, you can measure America's bottom line by looking at Caterpillar's bottom line. Caterpillar builds the equipment that moves the earth. Because when a company as good and successful and efficient and lean and mean as Caterpillar is cutting back production and shedding jobs, that means we're not building up this country. That is the driving purpose of the recovery and reinvestment plan that I've put before Congress. It's a plan that will save or create more than 3.5 million jobs over the next two years, that will ignite spending by businesses and consumers, and make the investments necessary for lasting economic growth and prosperity. The bill has passed the House and it's passed the Senate. It's been reconciled, and now it's going back to those two chambers so it can get on my desk. It is time for Congress to act. Yesterday, Jim, the head of Caterpillar, said that if Congress passes our plan, this company will be able to rehire some of the folks who were just laid off. And that's a story I'm confident will be repeated at companies across the country. Think about all the work out there to be done. And Caterpillar will be selling the equipment that does the work. And in addition to saving and creating jobs, we'll also ensure that folks in places like Peoria who've lost their jobs through no fault of their own can receive greater unemployment benefits and continue their health care coverage. Here in Illinois, that'll mean an additional $100 per month to more than 820,000 workers who've lost their jobs. It means that extended unemployment benefits for another 145,000 folks who've been laid off are out there busy looking for work but haven't found a job yet. So the road ahead is not an easy one. Some of our plans might not always work out exactly the way we'd like. Our recovery will likely be measured in terms of years and not months. Throughout the 20th century, this company has helped lead that march from working far beyond capacity during World War II, even with 6,000 workers on military leave, to surviving the recession in the 1980s and emerging stronger and more competitive, to seizing the promise of today's green economy by leading the way with clean diesel engines. Here in America, even in our darkest moments, we felt fast to a vision of a better future. We've been willing to work for it and struggle for it and sacrifice for it, that's how it's going to be again. I have the fullest confidence that if we think boldly and we act quickly and fully devote ourselves to the work at hand, then out of this ordeal will come a, a better day and a brighter future for our children and our grandchildren. That's the history of this company. That's the history of this city. That's the history of this state. And that's the history that we're going to make, you and me together. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.